I remember playing his first match at Seaview when he was about 16. And uh, I said to myself, that wee boy looked like he could be a good player, you know. Mashing lad, I mean, he made me very welcome when I first came to the distillery himself and poor old Buster. He couldn't have done enough for him. I have very fond memories of both of them. I had a lot of time, a lot of time for the, uh, for the two lads, and I'm so sad that uh, the birdies left us. Birdie was one of the most outstanding footballers who ever represented the Whites. You were always sure of something spectacular. If he wasn't winning penalties, he was beating four or five men and doing that double every time. You wanted to pull on that, that, that white shirt. You wanted to be part of Lisburn Distillery. Do you think that um, that's an aspect of why this club's still so important to you? It is, yeah. The supporters were fantastic to, to me and to all the players that, that I played with. But, you know, it was a family club and they, they loved their family. We talk about the likes of Jimmy Cleary, uh, Felix Healy, um, Billy Kosky, and I would be putting Bertie McMahon right up there with them all. He was one of the finest and most loyal players. That is, he gave it all for this club, and uh, obviously an amazing person in his own community. When I come back in the management, I think he was as good a player as I had seen in the league. An absolute legend. He loved the story, the bits, and all the supporters loved him because he gave 100% every game. Members out of the weights, Governor Weights, really appreciated the things that he done for us and the way he played for us. He was a legend at a story football club, a complete legend.